That's right, Doc. November 12th, 1955. Unbelievable that old Biff could have chosen that particular date. It could mean that that point in time inherently contains some sort of cosmic significance, almost as if it were the temporal junction point of the entire space-time continuum. On the other hand, it could just be an amazing coincidence. Damn. Gotta fix that thing. All right, time circuit's on. What do you mean, time circuit's on? Doc, we're not going back now. Yep. Doc, what about Jennifer? What about Einstein? We can't just leave him here. Don't worry, Marty. Assuming we succeed in our mission, this alternate 1985 will be changed back into the real 1985, instantaneously transforming around Jennifer and Einie. Jennifer and Einie will be fine. They will have absolutely no memory of this horrible place. Doc, what if we don't succeed? We must succeed. I was just here yesterday. You were here yesterday, Marty. You were. Amazing, isn't it? All right. Sunrise should be in about 22 minutes. You go into town. Uh -huh. Track down young Biff and tail him. Sometime today, old Biff will show up to give young Biff the almanac. Above all, you must not interfere with that event. We must let old Biff believe he succeeded so that he'll leave 1955 and bring the DeLorean back to the future. Right. Once old Biff is gone, grab the almanac any way that you can. Remember, both of our futures depend on this. You don't have to remind me of that, Doc. Here's some binoculars and a walkie-talkie so we can keep in contact. I'll stay here and try to repair the short and the time circuit. That way we don't risk anyone else stealing the time machine. And I won't risk accidentally running into my other self. Other self? Yes. There are now two of me here, and there are two of you here. The other me is the Dr. Emma Brown from 1955. The other me that helps the other you get back to 1985. Remember the lightning bolt at the clock tower? Yeah. That event doesn't happen until tonight, so you must be very careful not to run into your other self. Let me give you some money. <whistles> Have to be prepared for all monetary possibilities. Get yourself some 50s clothes. Check, Doc. Something inconspicuous!